let's start with the topic subacute granulomatous thyroiditis and like most other types of thyroiditis this condition is more common among women in the age range of 30 to 50. So what exactly is subacute granulomatous thyroiditis? Achha. This is an interesting condition because like most thyroid pathologies, this also presents with the goiter. But in the case of subacute granulomatous thyroiditis, the goiter is painful. The enlargement of the thyroid gland is painful and this pain feature actually differentiates it from pretty much any other thyroid pathology you will come across. Okay, na? So I'll write this down. Painful goiter. Goiter is basically just an enlargement of the thyroid gland. So the clinical feature is pretty distinctive and doesn't leave much room for confusion. Okay, na? And it's possible they won't mention that the pain is because of the thyroid enlargement. They might mention that the patient has a full neck or a full appearing neck and also pain in the neck. Okay? So I'll basically write this down because there are many ways of wording the question and many ways of basically creating confusion. Okay, na? And this pain in the neck is actually worsened or exacerbated during deglutition which is a very fancy name for swallowing okay exacerbated during swallowing all right so whenever subacute granulomatous thyroiditis is mentioned in a conversation you must always remember that it is associated with neck pain that should be the first word that comes into your mind because the moment they mention something of the sort in an exam scenario, the diagnosis is pretty clear cut. There are other features which are pretty distinctive and will really help with the diagnosis. I'll talk about those first and then I will complete the clinical features, the clinical history. In majority cases, the development of the painful condition of the neck, the development of a enlarged thyroid gland or the development of neck pain is preceded by a viral infection by an episode of viral infection okay all right and what sort of a viral infection exactly most people will have a past history of a recent upper respiratory tract infection and this will be maybe a week before the onset of the thyroiditis so I'm basically telling the most high yield points first, past history and the fact that the viral infection needs to be relatively recent, recent episode of upper respiratory tract infection. All right. Anyways, um, so if they mention neck pain, painful enlargement of the thyroid gland with a history of a sore throat say a couple of weeks back your diagnosis is pretty much confirmed okay and normally they don't ask more than that but for the sake of your own concepts mostly a thyroiditis is basically manifested with a goiter and with hypothyroidism but in the case of subacute granulometer thyroiditis the goiter which happens to be painful is actually associated with transient hypothyroidism please do note that this hypothyroidism which is associated with the goiter is transient meaning it is temporary all right so i'll basically write it like this transient means it's something that will reverse itself and it's not only the hypothyroidism which will reverse itself the painful enlargement of the neck will also reverse itself because this is actually we can call it a self-limiting condition which follows an episode of viral infection and which basically remits or basically resolves itself even in the absence of treatment in the majority of cases. Okay? Transient hypothyroidism. So whenever the whenever you see the name subacute, 
and basically you, you might end up thinking about the fact that it starts with an s right so s for subacute and s also stands for self limiting because if you remember that it's a self limiting condition you will remember the clinical features you will remember that it is normally manifested by a painful enlargement of the thyroid gland along with hypothyroidism and the fact that both of these points both the enlargement the pain and the signs and symptoms of hypothyroidism will reverse themselves by themselves without any treatment theek hai but as always there are certain exceptions some people instead of going into the u thyroid state after the transient hypothyroidism may develop hypothyroidism instead which again will resolve itself in about 6 to 8 weeks theek hai but during this time period thyroxine supplementation is indicated theek hai minority may it's not self limiting बट डिवेलप्स इन टू हाइपोथाइडिसम जो कि खुद ही करेक्ट हो जाता है सिक्स टू एट वीक्स में बट ड्यूरिंग दैट टाइम पीरियड यू हैव टू कैरी आउट थायरॉक्सिन सप्लीमेंटेशन ठीक है ना अच्छा एंड दैट्स प्रटी मच प्रटी मच एट फॉर ऑल ऑफ द इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स सो लेट्स गो विद दिस अगेन सो जस्ट फॉर द सेक ऑफ मेकिंग श्योर that everything is remembered how will you know that a scenario is referring to a case of subacute granulomatous thyroiditis they will specifically mention mention the recent onset of fullness of neck the neck appears to be full or there might be a discernible enlargement of the thyroid gland which is associated with pain in the neck in the region of the enlargement all right so i'll basically अंडरलाइन द नेक पेन ठीक है जो पेन वाला पॉइंट है ना दैट्स द डिफ्रेंशिएटिंग पॉइंट इन एडिशन टू द नेक पेन दे विल मैंशन दैट द पेशेंट प्रजेंटेड विद स्वेटिंग एंड रिसेंट ऑनसेट इंक्रीज डायफरीस हीट एंड टॉलरेंस ट्रेमर इरिटेबिलिटी विच आर बेसिकली साइंस ऑफ एंड सिम्टम्स ऑफ हाइपथायरोडिजम ठीक है आई एल बेसिकली करेक्ट दिस टाइपोइमेड ठीक है ये दो बातें उन्होंने मेंशन की आपका डायग्नोसिस इधर ही कंफर्म हो गया अगर उन्होंने साथ में ये बात भी मेंशन कर ली कि एक हफ्ता पहले सो थ्रोट की एपिसोड थी पास हिस्ट्री में दैट इज़ गोइंग टू फर्दर हेल्प विद योर डायग्नोसिस अच्छा दे माइट आस्क फॉर द ट्रीटमेंट इन विच यूल हैव टू मैंशन कि नॉर्मली इट्स अ सेल्फ लिमिटिंग कंडीशन डॉक्टर खुद ठीक हो जाता है पेशेंट खुद यू थायरॉयड हो जाता है इन अ कपल ऑफ वीक्स लेकिन एक माइनॉरिटी होती है पेशेंट्स की जो कि हाइपोथायरिज्म डिवेलप कर लेती है और ये हाइपोथाइडिज्म भी खुद ही रिजॉल्व हो जाता है इन अबाउट सिक्स टू एट वीक्स लेकिन इन द मीन टाइम थायरॉक्सिन सप्लीमेंटेशन इज नीडेड एंड आई एम डन विद दिस टॉपिक नेक्स्ट वील टॉक अबाउट रीडल सैरोडाइटिस एंड देन वील स्टार्ट विद ग्रेव्स डिजीज़